During this video, I'm going to talk about astigmatic correction with narrow pupil in fake emulsification. It's a male patient, 65 years old. He's an ENT consultant surgeon, still in practice, has a cataract grade 4 in both eyes with IFS and prosthetic treatment since 12 years. He has an astigmatism 1.5 diopter in the right eye, 2 diopter in the left eye, and he's asked for glasses independence uh, post-operative operation. So, I decided to correct the astigmatism in full. When I do the uh, investigations, I found that the cornea astigmatism is 1.5 really in the right eye and the toric IOL I used is a technist toric. I used the T225 to correct the full astigmatism for uh, the patient. During the operation, you mark uh, the one, uh, 0 100 degrees and also I always do uh, marking the steep region where uh, my phaco wound will go even if I'm going to do a toric IOL. This is a very important because you correct your full astigmatism for this uh, patient uh, during the cataract uh, surgery as a routinely. This is an IFIS, so I use the Malugan ring because I need a full uh, dilatation of the pupil to do a good uh, capsular axis central and in good size to make stability of the a toric IOL uh, post-operatively. This is how I'm using the Malugan ring. This is very important. Add in the picture above. After you put your Malugan ring, you finish your FACO as normal. And after you finish, you mark your axis where you are going to align uh, your IOL, which is a technist toric IOL in this uh, case, because I need the four dots of this uh, unique lens uh, to see the fourth dot which is near to the optic during the pupil when it's, dilated, when it's small like this. See, I can see the fourth dot of this technistoric because it's four dots in each median. And you make sure that you have put the IOL in the proper uh, axis alignment uh, for these patients. Very small trick. Don't remove your irrigation uh, and do your full uh, hydration of the paracentesis and the wound and make sure you do the upper lip hydration of the wound to make sure tightness uh, of the wound plus you don't lose the uh, proper stability of the IOL during uh, hydration and you don't lose the stability of the anterior chamber during the removal of your irrigation. After I finished the right eye, in another day I did the left eye for the patient. I did the same calculation, I found the same that it has a two diopter astigmatism for the cornea uh, topography and I used in this lens T300 to correct the full astigmatism technist toric also. At the same, I used the Malugan ring also and the technist toric for the other eye. You see the four dots of this unique lens make it seen very clearly even if the pupil is uh, becoming narrow as uh, this is the case from the start, an IFS and it is a senile meiosis and you make sure that you put the lens in the proper alignment as you mark it, uh, your alignment. Also, as I said, hydration before you remove your irrigation is very mandatory to maintain your anterior chamber and the good position of the IOL you already uh, positioned uh, during uh, putting the IOL. And after I finish the operation, this is how the patient looks post-operatively. He has a 1.5 diopter in right and 2 diopter in the left but post-operatively, we corrected the full astigmatism of the patient. And this is why, because we did the, the everything for this patient. We used the Malugan ring to dilate the pupil. We used the best uh, IOL for this patient, which we had the four dots uh, to be aligned in our pupil. Thank you so much.